Sup nerds, I'm Cup of Joey and welcome back to another episode of r slash crappy off brands. As you may remember from my last video on this subreddit, I absolutely love bootleg, I love off brand, I love knockoff, I love all of that terribly made stuff. So I, I just can't wait to die. Poker Wars, the power that's inside. Boba Fett! <laughs> Boba Fett! <laughs> Oh god, even Bulbasaur's face is just like, what have you done to me? <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, underneath does it say with bounty hunting ball accessory? <laughs> is that a Pokeball for bounty hunting? Oh, they were definitely aware of what they were doing with this. This is beautiful. Hey, do you guys want to go to Duffin Daigles? It's where you can get Daigles that are like perfect for Duffing. Like, you even get a little extra thing that you can duff them in. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. It says New York Cappuccinos at the bottom. I want to know where this is because, it, you know, it's not just one little shop. It's like a great big thing with seating. It looks like it's in a, in a shopping center or an airport or something. Super numeros. El juego de cartas numero uno. Yes, if only there was, you know, another numero uno car game around, you know, that was to do with numeros, that was considered uno in terms of that, if only there was so I'm talking about uno, I'm talking about uno, and to be fair, uno is just a rip-off of blackjack, so I don't know why we give uno that much, you know, clout, <laughs> freaking clout chasing uno. Mmm, Michigan fried chicken, that's how you know it's good because it's from Michigan. You know, as soon as I saw this picture, I knew that it was in the UK. I just, I just freaking knew, and you know, and you know why I knew? It wasn't, it wasn't any of the, like, glaringly obvious things. It wasn't the telephone number. It wasn't the fact that the signs are in pounds sterling when they're talking about prices. And it's not the fact that it's got one of those little food health, you know, foods cleanliness scores in the window to show that it's good and it's in the, you know, the UK style. It's none of that. None of that was what gave it away to me that it was the UK. What gave this away to me that it's England is the fact that oh, it's just so freaking depressing. <laughs> like, that's it. I only, only in my beautiful grey island... Would you see this shite? <laughs> you know, you'd only see it looking this grim, this dreary, this grey, this sad. You know, this is this is us. This is you know. I just look at it and I think, yeah, it's freaking miserable enough to be the UK. And then I saw everything else and I was like, oh, oh, it is. It is my lovely country. There we go. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Ah, oh, you got your cola, your Dr. Weiss, your black cherry, your ginger ale, your brown birch beer, your root beer, your mountain showers, and your white birch beer. You know, I don't know if this is so much a crappy off-brand as opposed to, like, well, apart from Dr. Weiss, <laughs> you know, that's the only one. I don't know if, like, bra what brown birch beer or white birch beer is. Like, is that just an American thing? Is that similar to root beer? Because I know that that's not alcoholic, but I can't tell if that is. It doesn't look like it is purely because of all the drinks around it. Okay, Dr. Weiss uh, Mountain Showers are clearly off-brand, but, but you know what? Like, it just seems like generic branded Coke. Uh, I mean, okay, I just use Coke, which is a brand name, so hey, may maybe I've fallen into this trap. Ah, oh, what's that computer game with all the blocks that all the kids are into? Ah, uh, yes, to mind me. <laughs> oh, and look, they've got toy dilding docks. <laughs> oh no, they're dilding blocks. Okay, so they do have one B. <laughs> Is that Steve and Alex's colours? I don't know all that much about the intricate Minecraft lore, but. I, I mean, that that stands out to me, so I imagine it would stand out to other people. I love it. I just absolutely love it where instead of, like, trying to change the name a little bit, so, like, instead of Minecraft, they would call it, I don't know, Mindcraft or something like that. I like it when they just keep up mash, like, Hitchy me, Hitchy! Oh, the kids love it. <laughs> oh, Mario's not looking so good. Oh... Mario's seen some stuff. 
and some things that he would have recommended. <laughs> The little thing that, like, definitely makes this off-brand for me is the fact that, yeah, they've got him in, like, the red outfit, but they've got the green hat. <laughs> and, like, they even put the M on it, so it's clear that it's supposed to be Mario. I thought that this was just, like, randomly in a jar, and I was like, what the hell, until I realised that it's actually a bong. <laughs> so this is probably, like, in Amsterdam. Or it could be in the Czech Republic, I don't know. I saw a lot of glass-blowing stuff in, in the Czech Republic. I actually really like it. I would definitely have this and have it up. I also, I like, again, I don't know the currency. So it could be euros, it could be krona, you know, it could be swati for all I know. But to, but to be honest with you, I, I really like this. I would definitely have it up and I would probably pay that much for it as well. Especially when you realise that, you know, I mean, there's, there's crappy off brands. There's like the cheap mass produced stuff that just puts a similar label on it and hopes no one will notice. But then there's this where there's like a certain amount of skill and artistic, you know, value that's gone into it. And when you consider how difficult it is to craft a glass. Yeah, I actually really like it. I think it's worth it. Flappy Wars, it's about time! Ah <laughs> oh, yes, it is about time, it's about time we mixed in Flappy Bird with Angry Birds and Doge and also Nyan Cat in the, <laughs> in the top left hand corner there. Oh my god, and is that like, oh, I don't know, but is that bug, is that the bug from, you know, the, the, the one that's like flying directly towards the word Wars? Is that the one from that spider game where you have to like cut the the strings of web to stop the spider from getting the flies? It looks like it's from that. Also in like the bottom right hand corner is that the like uh, something from Mario? It looks like it's one of the guys from Mario Kart that like tries to you know bite the bite the cars as they're going along except it's metal i i think i see one like that <laughs> there's just so many different things in this <laughs> i don't know why they decided to turn the doge into like a bird as well although to be fair if that was a plushie i would definitely buy it fungus the bogeyman with all sorts of characters on here we've got shrek with fungus's face you know you've got the raccoon from is that over the hedge Random snake from a thing I don't know. We got the monsters from Monsters Inc. And we got some random dudes and a pig in the forefront. I'm not too sure where they're from, but they seem pretty neat. Oh, and it's starring world's greatest actor Martin Clunes. So, you know. <laughs> and it's only five Kwai. Yeah, I, I don't see why. <laughs> you know, I would actually buy this. This looks like something I would, you know, I would buy it just out of pure fascination as to what the hell I'm gonna freaking see. Like, is it gonna be the Sky adaptation of Fungus the Bogeyman? Or is it just gonna be some weird animated stuff with loads of random stuff in it that's nothing to do with anything on here? That's what I really wanna know. Also subtitles, I wanna know what the subtitles say. I love knockoff subtitles, they're always terrible. <laughs> just say random stuff that makes no sense. Mr. Mahmood. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, that is perfect! Because you know that Mr. Mahmoud is the name of the owner. It's like that whole Sitar book scenario. They can't do anything about it because technically it's his name and that's what I love about it. Oh, I want to go here. I want to go. I want to go to wherever this is and sample some of Mr. Mahmoud's fine. <laughs> <laughs> finery this is fantastic I, I i genuinely i do love stuff like this because it's kind of like the little guy getting back at the great big conglomerate that's you know got way too much money anyway and it's exploiting so many people it's like you know what i'm just gonna use your logo get over it i'm mr mahmoud <laughs> what a legend that tick done swelled your head up big, normal head Mandalorian Joe. <laughs> oh lord. I have to say for like a clear bootleg, the paint is pretty good. Normally with bootleg paint jobs it's like you'll get a splodge. You know, you wouldn't have green eyes clearly that green within the eyes. It would be like half in the eye, then half splodged over the foreheads, half on the nose, and an expression that goes, Mother, end my pain. 
this isn't that bad for what it is. Then again, I'm not into Star Wars. I don't know what the Mandalorian actually looks like. So this this could be way off for all I know. I don't know. There might be Star Wars fans like frothing at the mouth. Like, oh, you fool. How did you know that that's not, you know, Baby Yoda's butt plug? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Baby Yoda has a personal butt plug, although I've not seen it. And when I say personal, I mean human, alien. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what butt plugs exist in this you know, verse. I'm not in tune with the complex butt plug lore of Star Wars and I don't know why you all expect me to be. Super Asuka Bros. Okay, that is a cute bird to be fair, that is a cute bird, but like even the hat, this is so shameless, like it's got everything. There's the font, you got the little like one-up box in the background, like everything is exactly the same apart from the Asuka, the A, and the fact that it's a bird for some freaking reason this time. The Great Manicorn commands you to join Team Fluffy. As seen on TV. Fricking where? Fricking as seen on TV exclusively in Tuvalu. What the hell is this? Seriously, this is. I don't know if this is a knockoff. This seems like it's a branded thing. But I don't know what it is. And it just seems really aggressive as well. <laughs> I don't know. Oh god, and like the toy, the toy doesn't even look anything like him. Like, okay, I can see where the unicorn is, like the riding unicorn that's just the head. But like, ah, oh, the way that it's positioned, it looks like he's some really freaking weird alien and that's his ear. He's got this, you know, like the, the nose of the unicorn hoodie or whatever doesn't look like... Uh, like it looks like a weird head thing but it looks like a pig and he doesn't even have that on his head he's literally just got the horn and the ears he's not got the nose and the fight what the hell is this this is all kinds of oh no it's a different outfit oh my god i'm a bloody idiot i just realized it isn't the one that's you know the main picture it's like the one just above the sticker in the bottom right hand corner that says team fluffy it's the one above that where it does have the whole face because it's a onesie but Oh, it's still so <laughs> I want to know what this is from. Team Fluffy. My God, this is... So... I, I don't actually know if I do want to know what this, what this is from. Is this going to... Is this going to scar me? Mike Wong. Fast Food Asia Teak. <laughs> oh, yes, Mike. Yes, Mike. I love this. He is using the upside down golden arches for the W in his name. And he's got the Nike tick underneath. <laughs> I have never heard the term Asia Teak before. That sounds really cool, by the way. Oh, is this is this France? Because like the thing is, is that I can see that it says uh out. Oh no. Oh yeah, it is. It is France. Sorry. Well, I guess it could be. Um, I guess it could be Canada. But because it said cuisine nonstop, I thought, oh, it's gonna be like an English-speaking country. And then I just saw the whole thing about being under ten years in the window. But, I mean, I can barely make out any of it because it's so small. But then I saw that, you know, opening hours were in French. But still, you know, like, oh, that's why it says Asia Teak. Uh, that was me thinking that I'd found out this, <laughs> this new cool word and it's in French. Of course it's in French. I like, I like the way that Mike Wong improvised on this one, though. That's really cool. Like, he even used that logo in his posters as well. That's amazing. Avengers of Infinity War, Saxophone and Japan Kid. <laughs> oh my god, a sax. Wow, that, that's just bloody fantastic. You can see behind there's a few more on the rack. Oh, this is this is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love it. I love it when they just repurpose random things where they decide, oh, this could be the, you know, franchise I guess saxophone in this case, I've seen it where there's like a random music set which is literally like a really crappy plastic recorder along with a tambourine and a whistle, yeah, oh there was an Ashens video on that one, that's good if you watch him, I, I definitely recommend Ashens, he, he does brilliant stuff, but anyway, yeah, and I love the fact that if you look at the top of this saxophone, like it's pointed towards... 
play though, so he looks like he's the one that's been playing it. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, kids, you can play saxophone like me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I uh, just imagine some, you know, <laughs> some, some shades and like a freaking trilby <laughs> on, on Thanos as he's going at this freaking cheap plastic saxophone. <laughs> Ace Automoti, we could do what it takes to keep your car smooth. <laughs> and that's all, that's all we get to read. But that, that little, that little logo, that, that little fella there, that beagle looks kind of familiar. Don't know where I might have seen him before though. Oh yeah, that's it, it was Family Guy. Jesus Christ, put it out of its misery. God, jeez, oh my, look at it. It looks anguished. That is pain. That is pain in its size. Don't tell me that those things can't freaking feel. My God. This is just horrible. Who the hell would just think, oh yeah, kids, will, kids love Spider-Man. This will be freaking brilliant. Oh, there were, there were fingers on the feet. Oh, there were fingers on the feet. So what, is that supposed to be Spider-Man himself? That he's just turned... Into this, like, four-legged thing. He's just now on all fours, barreling along. With this look of anguish and freaking horror. Like he's just been, you know, transported to the next dimension and knows how everyone's gonna die. Oh. Oh, my, oh. My day's ruined now. This is horrible. What, why? Avenge get gam with zombie Spider-Man. Of course, we have the classic Lego knockoff, the Chinese Lego knockoff here, except they did not follow the standard naming technique. We all know that you're supposed to name it La, and then any other random Chinese thing you want. But with this one, they decided to call it Prick. Why? I don't freaking know. But they decided to brand it Prick. Take away from that whatever you will. What I'm taking away from it is that I need to lie down. Sandwich hub, sandwich don't make you come. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I want it if it's gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, if I'm out in public, it might be a bit. <laughs> So we could the guys there just like casually waiting for their sandwiches, not giving a crap. <laughs> oh, God. Fast and Asperious totaled. Oh, this this just look I'm sorry, but this is ugly. This is the ugliest freaking car I've ever seen. And this is in my yeah, again, again, it's England because it's freaking miserable. It's a horrible day. Of course it's freaking England. And of course, whatever twat thought that this would be a good idea is also from freaking England. My god, this is awful. Why why are you go around in such a freaking ugly car? They made the conscious decision to make it this freaking ugly. And this harmful, look all that, I mean, I don't know, with some of those exhausts glued on. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, yeah, they're probably just glued on. I'm not a car guy, don't judge me. I mean, I don't, I don't, wait, are those toilet rolls? Are they toilet rolls spray painted silver? I, I don't know what I'm even freaking looking at anymore. I'm, I'm not a car guy, I don't know, I'm probably talking crap, I'm always talking crap, let's be real. Nickelodeon, truly, I am king. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea how, how, I mean, there, there must have been so many steps, there have to have been, I mean, somebody will have had to have designed this, this looks like it's something that's on that, you know, spubs or whatever, subreddit, where it's just, you know, they, they mess about with logos and stuff, I, I just, just, like this had to go through so many processes of being designed being printed being sold and nobody thought hang on this is freaking weird why has he got a freaking lump in his head he looks like he's been cut in half this is like lobotomized spongebob <laughs> i don't like any of this but hey at least he's king i guess <laughs> you know spongebob didn't have that go for him at least tooley's got that 
Oh, and he's not wearing a... It's, he's, like, naked. I mean, yeah, he's wearing a standard socks. and But, you know, the, the square pad bit, it's not on his body. You can just see it on the legs and on the arms, but he's not got, like, the shirt and trousers on his body, so he's probably got his arse out and everything. Not to mention his bollocks. Well, that's it for this episode of our Sash Crappy Off Brands, proving that it isn't always okay to copy someone else's homework. <laughs> As I say at the end of every episode, if you enjoyed hearing from this subreddit or would like to hear from any other subreddit, even one that I haven't covered before, then do let me know in the comments. And until then, I'll see you all next time.